Step 1. After opening the app, you can set the desired time format and choose the language like German, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Chinese, and others. At this step, you are not required to link your mobile device to the Erie controller. You can manage your irrigation plans without having to be physically next to the controller. With the My Plans option, you can manage your existing plans. You can edit, delete, or send your plans to the Erie controller. The Erie is very flexible and features four irrigation plan formats. The Weekly Plan allows your irrigation system to work on a daily basis. You can add up to six starts per day. You only need to set the desired hour for the watering to start and the desired irrigation length. Once you've finished to set up your irrigation plan, don't forget to save it by clicking on the Save Plan button. This useful irrigation plan allows your irrigation system to irrigate at interval days from 1 up to 98 days. You can add up to 6 starts per day. You only need to set the desired hour for the watering to start and the desired irrigation length. The Even Odd Days plan will help you to set up your irrigation plan, regardless of the calendar day the plan was created. Click on Even Dates or Odd Dates to choose the one you prefer. Same as on the previous plans, you can add up to six starts per day. Set the desired hour for the watering to start and the desired irrigation length. Press Save and you're set to go. The window plan helps you to activate your irrigation within a defined time frame, repeating the same watering process according to a given on and off cycle. Choose the desired dates for irrigation by clicking on the water drops. Then set the start and end time for watering. This is the window time frame. Then set the on duration, determining how long the watering will be on, and the off duration, determining how long the watering will be turned off. The Erie will calculate how many watering cycles should be actuated within the given time frame. All your saved plans can be found in My Plans. You can easily delete or edit saved plans as required. Step 2. Once you have set your irrigation plans, it's time to connect your Erie controller. Make sure the Bluetooth port on your mobile device is enabled. Press Connect to Controller. Now, press the button on top of the controller to pair between your mobile phone and the controller. As soon as you press the button on top of the controller, you will hear a loud click sound, indicating that the controller is now paired with your mobile device. On the screen, you will see the identification description for the Erie controller you just paired. No pairing code is required. If your screen remains grayscale, your Erie is still inactive. Step 3. Make sure to turn on your Erie by pressing the On button on the top right corner of the app. You can easily see the Erie status, on or off, by looking into the small icons on the top bar. The screen color will change as well from gray to green. It is possible to assign a name to your Erie controller. You just need to press the pencil next to the Erie name and then type the name you want. You can also control your Erie manually by pressing the drop icon on the bottom left corner. The small hand and faucet icons on the top bar will light up. The irrigation plan you now see on the screen, it's the one active on your Erie controller. If desired, you can easily choose a different irrigation plan by pressing the Switch Plan button. After choosing the desired irrigation plan, you will be requested to apply it to the controller. As soon as the new plan is transferred to the controller, you will see a short message acknowledging the next watering period. Once everything is set, disconnect your mobile device from the Erie by pressing the small arrow on the top left corner. A short notice will appear on the screen notifying the mobile device is now disconnected from the controller.